Asians are about to take over professional golf very, very soon, or at least the women will first. Yeah, there's a lot of discussion of this topic on the internet right now because 13-year-old Jaden Soong, Andrew, just became the youngest kid to ever qualify for the qualifying round of the U.S. Open. And to do that, he had to beat out Andy Zhang's record. On that same week, Andrew Rose Zhang, in her very first pro tournament after leaving USC to go pro, Andrew, for golf, won a half million dollars. Nobody has done that in the women's world in 70 years since 1951. So a lot of people on the internet had a bunch of posts and a lot of discussion, a lot of debate about like, yo, why are Asians so good at golf? And if this trend continues, are Asians going to take over golf? A lot of people say that Asian women have already taken over women's golf. All right, guys, we're going to go through the reasonings. Um, listen, we are not golf experts, but we did do some research. I have been exposed to golf. We like ourselves some driving range, a little putt-putt golf. But I do know a thing or two, so we're going to go through the reasons. You let us know your thoughts down below if we missed anything especially. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys. I think we have to acknowledge right off the rip that the greatest golfer of all time, Andrew Tiger Woods, is half Asian. Right. Um, so is it his Asian side or his black side that made him great at golf? I don't know. Jason Day is also half Asian. There have been so many people. Chun In Ji, uh, I believe there was a girl who started, uh, there was a woman who won in 1988 that sparked the whole craze in South Korea, particularly for women. Obviously, there's Michelle Wee, Vijay Singh, mm. uh, who is Fijian Indian. He was the top ranked player in the world at one point in 2004. There's KJ Choi. 70% of the recent winners in the LPGA tournament winners were Asian, whether they were playing for America or their mother country. Um, but long story short, Andrew, Jaden Soong said, I think golf is pretty cool because it's one of those sports where size doesn't really matter. I mean, it definitely does matter, but just not nearly as much as baseball, football, basketball, or something else. It's really just how strong mentally you are. Mm. Is that one of the hugest reasons? Well, I had to look it up. Um, I think that Size in golf obviously matters less. It does matter, obviously, the power of your swing, if you can hit it very far, the especially The physics from of it. leverage, right? Right, but no, you do not have to be a gigantically huge buff guy, and you're not going up against opponents. You're not trying to overpower another man. Obviously, those kind of traits of golf do play in the Asians' favor, Let's be honest. So let's go through other reasons why Asians might be so good at golf moving forward, and maybe, David, in the next decade and a half, who knows, maybe maybe men's golf is, is, is dominated by Asian guys No, too. it's true. I mean, basketball, football in particular, heavily physicality related. Soccer, you can be short and good at soccer. Messi is considered one of the mm. best players ever. I think he's only 5'7". Baseball, you can be short too. And then in golf, like you said, uh, you know, we, we're going to get into the mechanics of golf later. But basically, long story short, Andrew, do you think it's true that a lot of Asian parents do not want their kids to play team contact sports in America? Yeah, for sure. I think that especially things like football are are pretty much canceled out of like 98% of Asian families. CTE, bones breaking, being killed, whatever. Um, I think basketball sometimes is discouraged by some Asian families because they're like, well, how far can you go in basketball? You have to be very tall and athletic. And also like, oh, it's like, you know, uh, I don't know, only like, like, you know, bad schools are better at basketball. No, or they like think that. that basically people who play a lot of basketball don't care about school. And uh, right, that's a stereotype. Yeah. And then obviously there's also things like tennis and golf, which I see a lot of Asians going into um, as far as sports. I think obviously team sports are very, very important for a person's development. So if I was an Asian parent and I was really against contact sports, I would at least put my kid into soccer, baseball and golf or tennis if not, obviously, I love basketball and maybe a little bit of football. But I think I it really it. depends, right? If you're trying to raise a kid to go pro, that's completely different than putting your kid in a sport to learn life skills. Right, right. Uh, I'm not saying that you couldn't go pro and learn life skills, but let's just say if you put your kid heavy in a basketball or football, your kid's probably not going to go pro, but they might learn a lot of life skills depending on how they play the game, Andrew. This is uh, from a Asian golf blog, okay? He says, my thoughts on why many Asians pursue golf. Typically, Asian and Asian Americans are portrayed as weak, feeble, side bench types of athletes. Oftentimes, potentially great Asian athletes may get not get the playing time they deserve um, 
due to these assumptions and stereotypes from coaches and scouts. Golf, on the other hand, is an individual sport in which this subjectivity never comes into play. Basically, everybody plays at the first hole at the same level, and they do not have to depend on anybody else to achieve success. Literally, just their score on the course is their score on the course, and that's how you determine if someone's good or not. Exactly. It's based off their scores. Yeah, no, and it makes sense. I would say that's why a lot of like, and obviously golf is very expensive, so uh, it plays into like if Asians do have a lot of money, you know, a lot of Asian families do well. They have the means and the resources to fund their kids' golf career. I think if you really think about the pooling as well, Andrew, if golf is a sport for rich people because you have to start getting on the 18 holes very young, right? Mm -hmm. Then your competition pool is only other rich kids. Essentially. Right, like, so or, you don't have to go against anybody who's, like, fighting to, like, uh, do this for their life to feed their family or anything. Typically, some people in that field, I guess they already come from, like, what, wealth or old money or, or uh, some, some type of means, right? Some amount of, you know, well-offness, yeah. So, Andrew, to uh, address the, I guess, the, the, the oversized success that Asian women have had in Asian golf versus men in men's golf, Andrew, they're saying that the academy system in Asia is very female centric. Mm. So interestingly enough, due to the way the sponsorship money works and a lot of like rich company CEOs wanting to play rounds of golf with different golfers, they would rather play rounds of golf, and this sounds super patriarchal, with female golfers than with male golfers. Yeah. And this is like for the CEO of Sony or whatever. Yeah, and I think here's the thing. It's because I guess golf... Uh, especially women's golf, it's kind of like women's tennis where a lot of the women who are really good at it and very athletic or uh, exceed at golf, they still have like very nice like womanly figures, you know, and they still look like models, like a Michelle Wee. It's like, even though she does have strength to her, it's not like she had these huge... Uh, shoulder muscles and she right. wasn't super ripped. She's I would not... compare it a little bit to tennis or volleyball in that sense, right? Yeah, they look, they still have really good figures, which is still very attractive. So as long as the women at these sports are look very attractive, it can draw in some sponsorship money. I think it's a little bit like tennis in the sense that you you could argue that there's more sponsorship money on the female side than even for the male Potential. side. No, I, I think it's a lot closer for sure. And also not to mention that a woman's LPGA course is actually a thousand yards shorter than a man's. Yeah, I heard that the women's game, and like I said, guys, I don't bat a thousand. I don't really know golf that well, but I definitely did my research. Um, it's a much more technical accuracy game, whereas in the men's game, if you can hit the ball 400 yards off the tee, like that gives you a huge advantage because you're already like cutting down your swings that you need to uh, complete it. Um, somebody said that also in South Korea, for example, the reason why South Korean women have dominated such more, so much more than the men is the men have to go to two years mandatory military service where all their golf skills are almost guaranteed to atrophy. Right. I also think golf is, uh, especially if you want to talk about avoiding contact and avoiding like potentially broken bones and you still want to go into a sport already that is going to basically uh, uh, narrow down the sports that a for example, like a pretty woman or a well-off woman wants to join. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like a lot of like even if a girl can play basketball and football and soccer, maybe they just don't even like consider it. For so sure. I'm saying I mean, there's, there's down. societal cultural trends, yes. guys. Let's be honest. You know, there's the way you want the world to work and the way the world so works. So in a way, I can see more women by a ratio basis wanting to play golf relative than men because men also play a bunch of other sports. Yeah, and actually the truth is as well, Andrew, until you make the top 5% of pro golfers, you're generally like struggling to make money. Like right, you, yeah. you, you don't, you're, it's a very top heavy sport, a little bit like tennis. There's a lot of pros, but only a select few pros make a ton of the money. Somebody said in Asia, everybody, well, everyone wealthy puts their kids into golf. In the US, it depends. Even wealthy families sometimes let their kids go into very blue collar sports. For example, Johnny Manziel was from a very wealthy old money oil family, but he still tried really hard to make the NFL. You would never see that in Asia. Yeah, I could see that golf being pretty much the only sport that a rich person in Asia would put their daughter through, for example. Or, or even potentially their son. Yeah. Because I started meeting a lot of rich Chinese kids later in my life and a lot of them were like, yeah, I used to play basketball when I was young, but then I realized golf is my calling, and that is what my dad wanted me to do, to network for our global conglomerate. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a lot of networking and other benefits from doing golf as well. Somebody says, in America, uh, basically, you have to understand, in America, nobody really plays soccer at any serious level, which means that the, 
serious soccer players have to go overseas to get good, but most people do not even play at all. The women are really high ranked in soccer, for example, in America, but the men's system doesn't even come close to the world's best. So this is sort of pointing out at other gender imbalances. For example, in men's USA soccer versus women's USA soccer, there's a huge gender imbalance in terms of global results, just like there is an imbalance between Asian women and Asian men. Oh, in golf. Yes, that makes sense. Somebody said in the US, a lot of young girls are actually pushed to play soccer, softball, basketball, and volleyball. So there is a more distribution of the talent pool. Right, right. As we were saying earlier. Somebody said guys in general might dream of being something more conventionally masculine in the sports world, such as Sung Hung Min or Jeremy Lin or some sort of MMA fighter. Whereas for golf, for girls, it's more glamorous to be pretty and sophisticated and feminine in golf world. And they're saying, even if the girls fail and be just a semi-pro or a low-tier pro, that status in Asia will still allow them to marry a rich guy. There are so many reasons, guys. Like I said, man, I was just going through the thread. Somebody, uh, this goes back to the mechanics of the game, Andrew. How much does it matter to be strong in golf? Because a lot of people were saying the women, Asian women are a lot closer to non-Asian women than Asian men are to non-Asian men in terms of generating power or lift off of the drive. Um, Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's any truth to it, but what I will say this is that it is said, and this is just what I read, that the Asian women golf game is more about precision and Asian female golfers tend to be extremely precise. I heard even way more precise than <clears throat> non Asian female golfers. Yeah. Um, somebody was saying in Asia, there are not enough coaches that can coach the new male style of golf where people are trying to hit it 400 yards off the initial drive. Mm. If a lot of Asians are only coached to hit the ball 250 yards, they are already at 150 yard disadvantage already right off the first hit on a pro level. Right, so right, that right. is uh, causing some difficulty for the Asian guys to be hyper competitive and beat the DeChambeau's or the Rory's or whatever. Right. Somebody said different body types do play well in different sports. For example, Asians have shorter limbs, which is really great for power lifting records due to shorter arms. Asians also disproportionately hold a lot of world gymnastics records. However, mm. for basketball, it is very bad to have a short wingspan. Right, right, right. Well, Good I mean, that's true, right? Different populations, they, they, they tend to seem like they're better at different sports that oh, have yeah, different, different attributes. Different type of bodies, hell yeah, for sure. Um, Andrew, some people were saying, is there a different Asian style play to golf? Somebody said, I, and I had no idea, that Asians have very long, deliberate backswings. So somebody was saying, just like I can have an eye test and tell when a player is a pro Japanese player coming to the MLB because they're like body moves different. Mm, that's really interesting. I had no idea. I did not know that this is a thing in golf, but it does make sense. Andrew, I got a really interesting anecdote. I noticed that a lot of pro players from Japan just lift their knees up really high for basketball. Because I found all these, I, I used to play with a couple Japanese guys that were really high play, tier uh, college players in Japan, and they lift their knees up a lot. Oh. Like on jumpers, they just like lift their two knees up. It's a very unique style of jumper. I've just personally never really seen it in America. Oh, all right, David. All in all, I mean, are Asians actually going to take over professional golf, men and women's? What do we think? All right, I think that Asian women are going to continue to dominate the LPGA. I think Asian women got it. Because think about it. Once you already took over 60% of something, why not take over 70? And once you took over 70%, why not take over 75%? I wouldn't be surprised to see, like, in the future, it's 80% Asian women. No, honestly, I think, I think there's a chance, yeah. I think for Asian men, the situation is a little bit more complicated. Because if you think about it, I think more and more Asian guys are gonna be able to qualify for the US Open. But in terms of winning, it's gonna be tough because I heard that even the white golfers are becoming 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", and really gigantic bodies because they're trying to overpower the course then out finesse the course. Ah, so you're saying it's almost like the men's game could be becoming a little bit more like the NBA with the three-point shot. How people are just like, yo, I don't need a mid-range shot because I'm just going to launch this three from 30 feet. Right. Do I need to snake the pick and roll when I can just hezzy pull from 45 feet? Right, right, right. Um, Do you think that Asians are almost like the new wasps of the 1960s? It seems like Asians really like Victorian, you know, British Isle culture because... 
golf was invented in like 1467 in Scotland. Yeah. It, I, it seems like Asians almost take Victorian era European culture more serious than American Europeans or, or white Americans or even European Europeans in 2023. Yeah, I do think a lot of Asian families and specifically like the upper middle class, like well-to-do Asian families that are oftentimes- From all around honest, Asia though, including Southeast Asia Yeah, too. they have Thailand is also coming up, but I think that basically Asians are so much into luxury, hierarchy, status, and they're not all about like the contact sports. A lot of Asian families, right? Although Muay Thai is an Asian thing, but you know, in general, I think the majority. Uh, I, I of think Asian the populations that are winning the golf matches in Thailand and the Muay Thai crowd are like different. Yeah, those are different segments of society. Yeah, right? so Asians really like nice things, and golf is the nicest sport. So I think it's probably going to continue. I think the guys will have a slower growth into dominating uh, male golf, but I do think that there will be more and more Asian males in pro golf for sure moving forward there's no doubt um anyways so, guys so, what, so what's your recommendation to people with like a, an asian kid in america do you think that they should push him into golf i think they gotta at least take a look at it i think if you have the means and it's part of your life and you see some other benefits to it like oh it's great for uh spending time with my kid or it's great for networking or if your I kid is gonna go into finance or like mergers and acquisitions and all that stuff then yeah. you definitely need to do that i'll say this though if you want to command uh, people in a more army like blue collar way I would say be like a forward in soccer or be like a point guard in basketball or be a QB in football if you want to just to learn how to command other non-Asian people in America how, how about just both we look at Michael Jordan dominated at basketball was actually pretty good at golf too and a lot of NBA players golf a lot of football players golf as J. well J.R. Smith yeah so guys maybe do both maybe maybe if you come from a golf family, you do golf, but you expose them to basketball. And if the kids play a lot of basketball, expose them to golf if you can. Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below what you think. Could Asians actually dominate pro golf in the next 15, 20 years? I don't know. I'd like to see it. Why not? Until next time, guys, we out. Peace.